What's up video Ford nation? This is video for Ruan with another awesome video for tutorial. And in this video, we're going to be looking at working with real world scale in 3ds max. So really simple. Um, basically, if you are trying to create a specific object, you always need to try and work in scale. So let's say for instance, we are going to be building a house in 3ds max. We've got the dimensions in meters or maybe feet or something like that, then you need to set up 3ds Max to work in those units scale. So basically you'll click on customize here at the top and then you'll go to units setup. And on the units setup window, you can change between metric and US standard. So if you're from America, you'll probably be familiar with uh, decimal inches and fractional feet and decimal feet and all those kind of things. Um, I'm using the metric system. So I'm gonna be using meters for this one and click on okay. And let's say we've created a, we create a box now and we click on the modify tab here at the top. You'll see that all the parameters will be in that unit scale. So because I've selected meters, this will be in meters as well. So if I set this to, let's say five, five, five. So length, width and height is five meters. And if we just zoom out here a little bit, you'll see that I've got a cube five meters by five meters by five meters. So basically set your scale and always try and create your objects as close to real world scale as possible. So if you're going to be creating a building, don't set it to millimeters, set it to meters or feet or something. And if you're going to be creating something really, really small, set it to a smaller scale, like say millimeters or centimeters. And that will just make it a bit easier. Like if I change this now, if I go back to customize and unit setup, and let's set this to millimeters, click on OK you'll see that my box is now 5,000 millimeters by 5,000 by 5,000, which is correct, but it's really um, a lot easier if I set this to meters, cause then I only need to work in single digits, five meters. Obviously, if I set this to kilometers, that will be 0 0.005 kilometers by, which is also a bit of a weird number. So that will just make sense if we set this to meters and then we've got those single digits again. And that's all about working with real world scale in 3ds Max. Also remember to check out video4.com, your number one source for stock footage. I'll see you guys in the next video.